So, can you identify the disease shown in this image? Here, you can see in this image that some rashes are pustules like with pus and all, some has scaled off, some are new coming out like that. So that means that different stage of rash are present together. These are known as pleomorphic rash. Second thing you can see is that the rashes are in the central area. These are centripetal rashes. And if it is centripetal, it means the rashes will not occur on palm and sole. So, what are these rashes which do not occur on palm and sole, which are centripetal and which are pleomorphic? These are the rashes of chickenpox. Of course, it is caused by varicella joster. We have already read all the incubation period and period of communicabilities. So, we need not to repeat it here. But the main question is why they call it chicken pox? Because just like big of chicken, it comes out from the body prominently, significantly out from the skin surface. So that's why there was a doctor who also have a poet inside him. He described these rashes as dew drops on rose petal appearance. Okay. So these are the characteristic of chicken pox rash. Dew drops on rose petal means Aisa lagta hai jaise gulab ki pankhdiyon par os ki boonde ho. Actually it is just pus filled vesicle. But see the beauty in the eye of beholder. He see it as dew drops on rose petal. So these are the four characteristic of chicken pox rash. And if they ask like in recent exam of need they have asked what is the isolation period for chicken pox? So, if anyone develops chicken pox, we will isolate the person for six days. And of course, the treatment of chicken pox is tablet acyclovir, which in adult we can give 800 mg three times a day for five days. But this is not needed in adult. Tablet acyclovir is something which is given to prevent complications and transmissibility. To prevent complication of chicken pox and to decrease its spread, to decrease spread of chicken pox, we give the tablet. So it is something which we can give, but it will not treat the disease. Other thing we can do is, we can give varicella joster immunoglobulin. This will be given to all the family member of the patient to prevent them from developing infection of chicken pox. So this varicella joster immunoglobulin is for chemo prophylaxis to prevent other from developing it. But this varicella joster immunoglobulin is not needed in adult because we are giving varicella joster immunoglobulin to prevent serious complications and serious complications do not occur in adult. So that was the neat question that in a boy's hostel people develop pleomorphic centripetal rashes coming out from the skin surface. How long you will isolate them and will you give varicella joster immunoglobulin to them or not? Answer is in adult it is not needed so we will not give it. But if you have to give varicella joster immunoglobulin, this varicella joster immunoglobulin is given within 72 hours. And to which people you will give it? Like in my house, suppose, suppose there is a pregnant female, there is a child, there is an old age, an adult, whom will you give it first? So first we will give it in pregnant. Then we will give it to all the people who are immunocompromised. Then we can give it to children, we can give it to old age people, but not needed in adult. Okay. The last question from chicken pox of PSM part they ask is, what is the most common complication of chicken pox? 
सो द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉम्प्लिकेशन इज सेकेंडरी बैक्टीरियल स्किन इंफेक्शन ओके बिकॉज वेन चिकन पॉक्स अटैक ऑकर इट कॉज पश्चूल फॉर्मेशन एंड वेन द पश्चूल रप्चर देन द सिम्बायोटिक बैक्टीरिया ऑफ स्किन कैन गो देयर एंड कॉन कॉज इन्फेक्शन सो स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस एंड स्टेफाइलोकोकस इन्फेक्शन कैन ऑकर देयर out of which streptococcus is more common as compared to staphylococcal infection which occur after infection of chicken pox so streptococcus more common than staphylococcus okay now let's see the next image of the next disease can you identify the disease in this image this child over here he is also having rashes on face but the rashes are not coming out from the skin surface like chicken pox so these are not chicken pox rashes let me show you a very good image of chicken pox rash this child over here in this image you can see rose petal and dew drops over it here the rashes are coming out significantly and you can see the rashes are mostly on the trunk of the child so these are chicken pox rashes because they are coming out but these rashes you can see here in this they are not coming out like chicken pox rashes so these are not rashes of chicken pox these are rashes of measles and how you will differentiate measles from chicken pox one very important feature is measles occur with cough cold coryza and conjunctivitis that means water come out from nose that is coryza eyes conjunctivitis cough and cold is also there so that means measles rashes are with secretion but remember this point very clearly that chicken pox and rubella both are dry fever with rash in them no secretion occur in measles there will be secretion 